initially uh, the previous show that I had here had little glass ceilings to let light through so there wouldn't be any shadows but of course there were shadows with the glass joined and I was quite fascinated where this, these shadows came from um, and then there was uh, I was reframing a, a print um, and I cleaned the glass and lifted it up and I was like this is such a beautiful thing just so simple and so beautiful as I sort of handle this piece of glass. I just sort of was overtaken by the desire. I wanted to see what they would be, what these pictures would be like made with glass. Um, it's also from the background of working with artist paints because I'm primarily a painter. And artists always talk about glazes because paint's not just about reflecting light, but it's about light travelling through a medium and coming back out again and gathering some of those qualities of the medium. And so everyone talks about these glazes and there's no simpler way to glaze than to actually put glass on. So that's pretty much where it came from, this sort of fascination with the material uh, and its qualities. In the sense that they're, they're you know, neoclassical tradition, they're drawings. Um, line, form, um, balance, composition, they're all there. And I use the term drawing because they were ex explorations uh, pieces were put in, pieces were taken out, stood back, I considered them for a while. Um, there was, they were very malleable in their construction. Um, rather than maybe as a more finished piece where you would do a drawing, expect an outcome and then work towards that outcome. These were sort of, um, yeah, with an eye to serendipity. The quality it says the, the, the physical reflection of the glass itself, so you see that the glass has a tone and the glass overlaid creates new tones, so you actually get secondary depths. You get the reflection, so the reflection of the outside world on the glass, plus the areas along the edges where glass um, creates a shadow, and that creates a line, it's amplified, and so the shadow can be quite exaggerated compared to, it almost um, can have crinkles and textures and things in it compared to the very crisp line of the glass. Mainly glass that I bought from a glass wholesaler. Um, there's some reclaimed glass there. Um, it's all two millimeter glass to fit into the slots, and uh, the, the making of the chassis that, that holds them was quite a, an involved sort of exploration in itself. Um, so I'm limited to sort of roughly about two millimeter glass, but each gla glass has a different characteristics. You know, one glass, a piece of German glass, cuts in a different way to a piece of Japanese or a piece of glass from Thailand. So what I, I couldn't see this when I started, but six months into it, and I could just tell where a piece of glass came from by the sound it made, almost, you know, or what type of glass it was. Um, there's some right angles in them. A lot of the time, they're not quite right angles. I've, I've always had a thing of breaking, uh, breaking the mold when it comes to that. I, I think sometimes a slight variation from pattern garners our attention. Um, we see a lot of square things around us. If we see something that's slightly off square, sometimes that can sort of shock us into looking. Great value in any of these things, whether you're painting or you're that you, it's sort of, they expose you, you make it vulnerable again. And um, whether it's painting or this sort of work, I think risk is really important. Um, if art hasn't got risk, or if anything hasn't got, if it hasn't got risk, it's sort of, it's flat. Mm. Um, and I think the viewer can tell it. So to me, the risk of the, the sort of breakable glass, the risk of the fact that I got some of them wrong and I've left that evidence. Like somebody said to me, oh, they're, they're so perfect. It's like, well, no, they're not. It's flaws, there's errors, there's, there's problems. Like any good drawing will have, uh, it will show the, the sort of the fight to resolve the image. These have gotten all there. I think if they were perfect, 